Friday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time, Reflection. The Lord is speaking about a thirst and a hunger. We hunger for many things, but among them, the hunger and the thirst for God is the most ardent desire a person can have in, in his life. Because you cannot you cannot live without it. It is so deep and mystical. Sometimes a person cannot identify that I am thirsting for God. So he tried to quench that thirst by, by sex, power, lust, attachments, relationships, and many other things. But then exactly how being a womanizer, a bad character, and fallen in flesh, St. Augustine beautifully says after that realization, I am made, I'm made for him and my heart is restless until I rest in thee. So that's the, that's the true thirst a man can have. So in the gospel we find how the Lord is punishing the people who never listen to the prophet. What happens when you reject the voice of God? That conscience will die. The moment that conscience dies, you will miss that voice. That, that voice is lost in the noise. So that's the day, on that day, declares the Lord God, I will make the sun go down at noon and darken the earth in broad daylight. I will turn your fears into mourning. I will add all your songs into lamentation. I will bring sackcloth on every waist and bladeness on their head. I will make it like the morning for all, for an only son, and the end of it like a bitter day. My dear friends, then he says, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord God, when I will send famine on the land, not a famine of broad, not the famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. My dear friends, that thirst, that hunger is terrible. Because if you, if, you, if you are hungry, we have many options. If you are thirsty, we have many options. But when it comes to the word of God, the connection with the Lord, you miss that voice. Nothing can substitute. No one can substitute that gap, that vacuum, that hello, my dear friends. They shall wander from sea to sea and from north to east. They shall run into to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, but they shall not find it. That desire kills a person. That desire shrinks a person. Just this desire withers a person. There's no other way. The contrary, my dear friends, is saying, the Lord is saying in, in John chapter 7, verse 37, Come to me, those who are thirsty. Come to me. And those who drink from me will have springs of water in himself. So here we find a person like that, like that dry land, condemned by people gone away from the Lord. That person is called Matthew, a tax collector. Tax collector is a considered sinner, labor sinner, cornered sinner. Of course, then he had lost the reputation in the, among the crowds. And then he is condemned by, seemingly by, by the religious structure, where they cannot enter the, enter the temple, where the Jews can enter. No, they should be in the pagan land, pagan area, the outer courtyard. So he's rejected by God seemingly, by men definitely. And so in that state, the Lord is coming to him. Like a barren land, who like a deer yearns for water, this person ardently desires for that love, that voice. It's exactly how it happened. And he said, follow me. 
the moment he said follow me it shows that that he's important that he bought his import that love recognition changes a person completely and that word is like the like the rain from the sky in in isaiah chapter chapter 50 my dear friends the lord is saying chapter 55 the lord is saying in chapter verse 9 his word is like a rain so this this part this desert land is full is now filled with that rain word of god word of jesus asking him to follow him and it shows that he loves you he wants you that's exactly why he's asking him to follow my dear friends so moment that he hears this word moment that he hears this word he leave everything behind and he rose and followed him immediately the table that his workplace everything that money he just left everything and followed him my dear friends so that's why the lord is saying why does your teacher when 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 others said jesus reclined at table and household as jesus reclined at the table in the household many tax collectors and sinners came and were reclining with jesus and his disciples so all of them were gathered there because they are thirsty they are thirsty they are thirsting for the word that word of jesus life giving word of jesus of course the other people pharisees sadducees this and everyone they this they they this they they also go through the same fame fame drought but they, they don't know that they lack the word of god that rain in their lives so they continue to live dry without any love in their lives that's exactly how jesus deals with this particular person helping him to have the word in in, in his life and uh, my dear friends the lord is saying they will they shall wander from sea to sea and from north to east they shall run into to and fro run to and fro to seek the word of the lord but they shall not find it the all the others pharisees they never found it they always doubted the lord but this particular person and he went completely radically following the lord he left everything but he had one thing from the past he had that he spent on a little book that he used to take up accounts about all the taxes that people should pay and he started writing with the very same pen that he used to condemn people judge people put put people into sentence and pressure people lied and took money that very book that very pen is turned into a gospel my dear friends that's how the lord is saying in john chapter 7 verse 38 those who drink from me will have springs of water today gospel of matthew is that spring came from the heart of matthew where he was thirsty no one can no one could quench that thirst only the word of god that day he was complete that's exactly how what should happen to your life you should find him find the word hear the voice and then you will be radically changed changed into the proper being that god god intended you to be so that's exactly how the lord has designed you have that metanoia you turn in your life and follow him he can only only he can satisfy you complete you complete you and make you whole amen may god bless you